things. But it's interesting because for the first time, everyone's like, oh, Sari's chosen the same team that he plays last week. And this is the first time in history that he's done it at Juve. And except the performance against Cagliari and the performance against Roma was Very so different, different obviously, mm-hmm. in the way that they managed their lead. And you could tell that it really affects players like Ronaldo, who are constantly out there to try to score goals. And he keeps looking at his uh, uh, his teammates and asking them to raise their levels and come forward because he wants to play that way. They want to play that more proactive way of let's try to get more goals. Whereas that's still that part of sort of Allegri system or, or their cynical manner in which they're still always like, well, we're two nil up. Does it really matter? Do we need to get another goal? Let's just make sure we protect our lead. It gets to Sadi, but what I don't understand is that five months in now, the team still doesn't really. Well, especially when you did it last way. week. Well, this is when, what it is. But I don't, you know, you can say it's a hangover from Allegri, but the reality is Aaron Ramsey never played for Allegri. Edwin Rabio never played for Allegri. Allegri. Les Matuidi obviously did, but, you know, he comes from a different footballing culture uh, where they didn't often didn't play that way. Dybala didn't, didn't play yeah. for Allegri. <laughs> Dybala basically <laughs> did at the end. So this was, I think, this was a breakdown from Sarri. Why um, is his message not carrying through to the players? Why didn't he, it in this game? Yes, and also why I once again, which he complains about the defenders falling deep, do the defenders fall deep? Is, his, is, is the way that he speaks or the way that he communicates not enough for the team to take on board? I mean, my... Natural instinct would be to blame Bonucci because, <laughs> no, no, because look, you have the authority at the back or not blame him, but say like mm, Bonucci's the one that. saying like, all right, you know, screw this. They got to come at us. They're tuned down. Let's defend deep and we'll nail them on the counter and the crowd will start to get on them. Right. That, that, that would be a very Italian way of thinking and it would fit what Bonucci wants. It would fit what an older Italian defender would want. But it's obviously not what we think Sadi would want. So, yeah, that is a breakdown, and I think they didn't expect Roma, I think, to play so well the rest of the game. And I, Have they well, not watched in, Roma this season at all? Well, but yes, but it's one thing to to do it when you're on the road, when you get an early goal, or when it's when it's level. When you're 2-0 down, I mean, I think mentally, to to have the the confidence to go back and get back into the game the way Roma did and tried to do, and eventually, obviously, they, they pulled one back... Um, no, I don't think I, I don't think it's something to be taken for granted. This so, is still Roma. The crowd still turns on you when when things don't work out, or, or it can happen if they see the effort isn't there. And you know, I thought Diawara was was outstanding in the middle mm-hmm. of the park and driving them forward. Showed great personality and a lot of intelligence as well. And I don't think for me it's Jekyll. Was Jekyll wasn't really present in the first half or in the beginning, and then as soon as he started to involve himself a little bit more in the in the, in the plays, it came through. But when you're talking about the crowd and the fact that this is still Roma, it was interesting because I made a point of going to all the fan sites for Roma before the match, and I wanted to read what they thought was going to happen. And they're always a little bit pessimistic, um, a little bit like into fans, you know, the you know U of A, so let's not expect too much from here. But this was like, oh, this feels different. Fonseca's team might not be like winning on across all barriers and everything. They're not perhaps the team that like, you know, um, was challenging Inter at one point for the Scudetto. But a lot of them really believed that they had a chance against Juve. And even if they were going to go a goal down or second, they believed in Fonseca's ability to rally the troops. I think that there's... A, this is what I mean by this is a different Roma. This isn't one that just falls apart as soon as a goal is scored. That's Cagliari. That's what we're seeing from them. We saw that against Milan. We're just seeing that every week. But, I mean, this is what's so lovely to watch about them this season is you believe in their fight. You believe in their determination to try to come back through, to try to find a way. And in all honesty, they should, probably should have gone the draw. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.